What's good Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanjeev back at it with another video. Uh, this film study is going to be a little bit different than the typical film study that I do. The production will be trash, but the value will not be trash. I, I promise you guys, you guys will enjoy this video. Um, before we get into it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, uh, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Um, you know, in 2019, Andre James stepped in for Rodney Hudson. Now, most people think Andre James only played one game. Uh, that is because they only look at the statistics and they only see that he started in one game. But Andre James actually came in the week before, in week eight, for Rodney Hudson. If you guys don't remember, uh, here's the play. Rodney Hudson's going to end up getting hurt. He's going to get rolled up on and he ends up missing the rest of uh, this game. Um, obviously, this was Andre James' first time ever coming in. And ever playing in the NFL, right? Obviously, I'll let you guys watch it again. Rodney Hudson's going to end up getting rolled up on. Uh, but this is the first time Andre James ever played in the NFL. And there's something unique about this, right? You, and, and I don't know if any of you guys can relate. I'm sure there are some of you who can relate because a lot of you guys watch this, you know, these videos. There's, a, you know, plenty of Raider fans from, you know, across uh, the world that watches this video. There's some of you guys that have played football. You know, I, my primary position, if you guys don't know this, you know, I was the starting right guard, but my backup position was center. So even though I was the right guard and mentally I had trained myself to play right guard, I always knew that there was a chance that I would have to come in and play center. And I had practice center. And I'm telling you guys from experience, and Andre James went through this same exact experience. Playing tackle or guard is way different than playing center. Having to snap the ball is a whole another step to run blocking or, or blocking in general, right? And, and I'm gonna try exploiting it with the first play of Andre James's professional career. Again, his very first play ever, not a great play, um, but he, here's the thing, right? When you're playing center versus when you're playing like guard, right? Or tackle. When you're playing guard, let's just look at Gabe Jackson here. As soon as the ball gets snapped, what he's going to do is both of his arms are going to cock back a little bit. Uh, he's going to take either a right step or a left step, and then he's going to engage with whoever it is. And let's see if we can catch uh, him cocking back. It's a super fast uh, movement, so you guys might not see it. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can pause it at the exact moment. Um, there Gabe Jackson is getting his arms back and ready to throw a punch at J.J. Watt. Um, and boom, there's the punch. Now, here's the thing, right? All Gabe Jackson has to worry about in this play is I'm going to take my step. You know, in this case, it's his right foot first. I'm going to take a right step. I'm going to get my hands on J.J. Watt. Um, and that's it. There's nothing else to it. On the other hand, with Andre James, he has to first get the ball snapped, right? And then he has to, as the ball is being snapped, he has to also take that step, right? And then he, at that moment, can cock his hands back to throw that punch. But you don't get the same punch at, from the center position that you would if you're playing guard or tackle. Guards and tackles don't have to snap the ball. Look at the movement and the motion that Andre James has to make, right? Just getting that ball back there, you don't get the same punch, right? It's just a fact. Any center can tell you guys that. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because a lot of people on Twitter and Instagram have been putting videos out of Andre James losing, uh, getting beat up on, and there's plenty of videos out there of him doing that. But this video is not meant to focus in on that. This video is meant to focus in on the small positives that I see in his game, right? Because we did the same thing for Colton Miller. Colton Miller in his rookie year had some small positives, and he had a ton of negatives. And look at Colton Miller today. Some say he's one of the better offensive tackles in the NFL. And I'm not saying that's going to be Andre James, but what I am telling you guys is I've spoken to Colton Miller about Andre James. And Colton Miller specifically stated that he thinks that Andre James, after Rodney Hudson, could be the Raiders center. He could take over for the Raiders. And I do feel that Andre James has shown enough in the small amount of tape that we have. He played 45 snaps against the Texans. And then the next week he started, I think he played 70 snaps against the Lions. We're going to focus in on some of those snaps, right? So let's just get into it, man. Let's just get into some of the positive things that I saw with uh, with Andre James. Here's the thing with Andre James. You're going to see him on this first play. He's going to take this uh, nose tackle head on. And he ends up putting the nose tackle down, right? You're going to see it right here. Uh, he does a good job pushing him. I think the nose tackle might have slipped a little bit. But Andre James is, is a tough player, right? And, and he ends up putting the nose right there down. And Josh Jacob ends up picking up four yards. Uh, it's a pretty good block. Um, 
you know, it is one thing that I have noticed with Andre James is, is uh, for, like, his skill set's good, right? Like, he's quick, he's fast, but he also plays with strength. Like, he tries to bully people, and it is one of the things that I do like about him uh, is he, he wants to play physical. Uh, with that being stated, let's get into the next couple of plays. All right, guys, I want to jump into this next play here. Uh, this is to be a little bit uh, critical of, of Andre. Um, this is going to be a run to the right. And Richie Incognito ends up actually missing his block. Number 41 blows the play up. We lose a yard. Um, I'll let you guys watch the play, play really quickly. And I want to break down something I noticed with Andre that he's, you know, he'll get better at with experience and reputations. Keep in mind, this is two seasons ago, right? We didn't see him play last season at all. I'm sure he's gotten much, much better. Um, but here's the first thing I noticed. Watch where his helmet lands. It's basically land to the right of 98, which is going to be to this side. Um, it should have landed to the left. And let me see if I can pause it. Um, as you see his helmet, right, it lands to the right of number 98, at, at least the right of how we're looking at it, right? Because technically, if you look at it from Andre James' perspective, it's Andre James's left, right? But from our perspective, it, Andre James's helmet lands to the right of number 98. It should have landed to the opposite side, right? Where your helmet lands is the most important part of blocking because your helmet, your, you know, it's going to include your neck. Your shoulder, um, your leverage, everything's going to depend on where that helmet lands, right? And and it should have landed on the opposite side. Obviously, keeping in mind, this is like the second drive of Andre James's NFL career, learning a brand new position. Um, and then he even tries to kind of like readjust his helmet to the other side. It really doesn't work out too well. Um, you know, in my personal opinion, had Richie Incognito made this block, uh, let me actually just pause it. You see Richie trying to get off of 98 and trying to stop 41. He's just a second late. But had Richie made the block, Andre does a good good enough job on washing number 98 down uh, towards the, the zone side of this play. And Josh could have cut back and possibly picked up a number of yards. Uh, obviously, you see Richie miss. But I think there would have been a gap here if Richie made his block. Um, either way, this is an okay play by Andre, I just wanted to be a little critical. I don't want to be 100% like super positive because it's not all positive, right? Let's just jump forward and let's get into some, some of the good things. All right, guys, so here's Andre and here's one of the blocks that I think shows some of the things that he can continue to build on, continue to work on, and, and continue to, to do good, right? He basically gets to the inside of this guy. He gets one hand on him just enough so Gabe Jackson... Uh, can get there and, and let me just pause it here for you guys um, just gets one hand on him slows him down so Gabe can get there but he gets to the next level which is his block and he does a great job and he gets aggressive and he pushes this guy to the outside and then we'll go get into that real quick um, it's a good job right he gets aggressive with him and he makes sure this guy is not gonna be able to get back to DeAndre Washington that's a good enough block right um, it's not all about laying people out on and pancaking people if you're an offensive lineman as an offense lineman, the only thing that matters is the if you take the right angle and you are able to make your block, right? As you see Gabe Jackson, he's going to basically just push this guy outwards. Gabe Jackson makes his block, uh, and then Andre James makes his block, and obviously everybody else kind of makes their blocks as well. But again, this is like the 10th play Andre James has ever played in the NFL, learning a brand new position, and he does a good enough job for DeAndre Washington to pick up six yards. Uh, with that being said, let's just jump forward into the next play. All right, you guys, so on this next play, I want you guys to watch Andre and watch where his helmet lands, right? Uh, a couple plays ago, I told you guys his helmet landed on the wrong side. Uh, this time, he makes sure to get that helmet to the correct side. And him and that nose tackle are, are both fighting for the outside containment, right? Uh, number 92 knows that he's not going to allow Andre James to turn him. And that's what Andre James is trying to do. He is trying to turn that defensive lineman. This is a really good block, right, in my opinion. Um, Andre James has to get that guy turned. And for the most part, he does a good enough job, right? He's able to actually, you know, get that guy a turn. Now, obviously, the lineman kind of sees DeAndre Washington cut this upfield. And if you guys are asking why did Washington not keep this to the outside, um, you know, these plays are meant for if Colin Miller can hook this guy, DeAndre Washington is going to take this play to the outside. All right, that's the whole point of this this play. But obviously, this defensive end is going to set the edge very, very hard. 
And you're going to see that DeAndre sees that this guy has set the edge. DeAndre now is going to look for this gap or this gap or this backside gap. And you guys can see DeAndre Washington has great vision. He's able to cut it back and he ends up picking up six yards. Great block all around by the offensive lineman. Andre James gets his helmet to the correct side, in my opinion. And let's just get move forward and, and get into the next play. Let's jump forward into this next play here. You're going to see Andre do a pretty good job. Uh, him and Gabe are going to double team uh, the defensive tackle. And one of them has to get up to the linebacker, Zach Cunningham. Uh, of course, you guys are going to see that based off of how they move the defensive tackle and the fact that Andre James gets off of him. He gets up there to the next level. Now, uh, this is why Josh Jacobs is special, right? Uh, Richie's going to mi miss a block. He should have picked this linebacker up here. Um, but Josh Jacobs, man, the guy has Josh dead in his tracks, and Josh just gives him a 1-2 up the field. Um, and Richie obviously sees it himself that uh, he obviously did not get to his block. Uh, well, you guys can watch Richie here. Uh, he's going to take us. You know, he looked a little bit at number 55 there, and he's looking at him again, as you guys see. Um but yeah, as far as Andre James, to me, this is a, a good double team up to the backer. Um, obviously, this is the first game, right? So there's things that Andre has to learn with whoever is going to be playing right guard or left guard. He has to understand and learn how these guys want to block, right? Uh, Hudson was here for, what, like five, six years. So Hudson knew what to do in every single situation. Obviously, Andre is going to have to kind of learn uh, what works and what doesn't work. Overall, this was a pretty good block, if you ask me. All right, guys, I want to jump into this next play uh, because this is the communication. This is what the center does, right? You're going to see Gabe Jackson and Andre James talk. Uh, basically, 55 and 41 are both at a certain point going to show blitz or it's going to at least make Andre and the offensive line in general think that someone's coming, right? You see 55 kind of stepping up. Um, obviously, because of that, Derek's going to go ahead and make whatever check he needs to make. Uh, at this point, Andre James is going to call where the offensive line is going to slide and how they're going to slide. Again, this is always up to the center to decide. Now, obviously, this is Andre's first game ever, so I don't know who's going to make the protection calls. I'm going to assume it's still Andre, right? You see it right here. Andre, Gabe is you know asking Andre. Andre points to 41, right? Which I think what he's saying is I have 41 and you have number 55. Again, we'll back it up just a little bit as he's uh, going to do it again. Uh, Gabe's asking him about the protections uh they're all kind of looking and he's gonna say that he has 41 and gabe has 55 so for those of you guys that don't know how the protection seems to work basically what andre james just told gabe jackson is that colton miller has the furthest guy to the left which is the defensive end lined up here uh richie has this defensive tackle that's lined up right on top of him andre told gabe that he has he as in james himself has number 41 and, of course, Gabe is responsible for 55. Trent Brown is going to slide towards the inside and pick up this defensive tackle here. And then, basically, uh, Foster, Moreau, and Waller have the guys that are kind of lined up over the top of them. So, as the play is, is going to basically get snapped, let me get a little bit quicker into this. You see 55 comes, and watch. Honor James is going to let him go, and Honor James is going to shift and look to the left. Right, Gabe has to pick up 55. Trent picks up that defensive tackle. And there Andre is. Obviously, be, get the guy passed off from Richie. Overall, man, it's it's a it's a nice way, you know, to obviously call the protection schemes. And it's good that obviously Andre James was able to come in in his very first career game and be able to kind of make those decisions, right? Of who he has to cover, uh, who he needs to pick up, and kind of which ways the line's gonna slide. Anyways, let's get into the next play. All right, guys, here's another play right here. Josh Jacobs is going to pick up five yards. Uh, Andre James and Gabe Jackson are basically going to double team this guy. Uh, and the reason why I'm showing you this play is because this is a typical Tom Cable type of block. The double team, Gabe has to get around, and Andre James has to get up to the next level. Either that's 41 or 55. In this case, it's going to be 41 because 41 steps into this gap. Um, but just to kind of show you guys the play, they do a good job initially double teaming. Um, the thing is, is depending on where the offensive lineman, or I'm sorry, depending on where the, the linebacker here is going to go, if, if he steps into this gap, basically Andre James has to get off a of 98 and pick him up. If 41 steps into the gap over here, basically Gabe's going to let 98 go and pick up 41, depending on what gap he goes into. In this case, you're going to see 41 steps into Andre James's gap. Andre gets off of him and then gets onto number 41. For the most part, it's blocked pretty well, right, between Gabe and Andre. 
but Andre doesn't stick to his guy, right? Zach Cunningham's able to get around Andre uh, James Earp and make play, or at least help with the play, right? Uh, but it's not a it's not a bad play by no means. It's still a five yard gain, right? Uh, five yards is actually a good play if you ask me. Um, but overall, man, like so far, uh, Andre's had some good plays and some bad plays. But let's get into the next one. All right, guys, just jumping into this next play. Uh, pretty good block, just staying on number ninety eight, getting aggressive uh, by Andre here. Um, I, I dig these type of plays, right? Because he's being aggressive. Yeah, they kind of double teamed a little bit. Um, but the, you know, these are the type of plays that James is gonna have to get used to in the, in the NFL, man. Uh, the centers take on the strongest players on the defense, right? It's typically those nose tackles, those big 300 to 345 pound beasts right in the middle of the, the field. And uh, he'll have to be an aggressive guy, man. And and I like the way he plays there, and I like the way uh, he shows aggression. All right, guys, uh, moving forward to this next play, Andre James is a fantastic job. You're going to see him. Uh, basically, this is a, a run to the right side of the screen, right, which is the left side for the offense. Andre's going to do a great job, basically, trying to cut number 41 off. And he does a good job, right? Like, he's going to get upfield, and he's going to run towards where he knows he needs to be. And these are the types of things that are, that uh, as a center, as a, any offensive lineman, you know, I say this over and over again. You don't need to lay someone out, right? That's never what you need to do, right? It, it's not important. What's important is basically running to where the guy's going to be. Notice how Andre James isn't running directly at 41, right? Instead, what Andre James is going to do is he's going to run sideways, and he's going to try to meet Zach Cunningham somewhere like over here, right? Uh, so as the play begins, you're going to see him. He's not running at 41. He's running to a spot where he knows number 41 is going to be. On top of that, he knows that the play is going uh, to the right of the screen, which is way out here. So he knows he just needs to dive in front of number 41. Now, uh, here's the thing. This isn't a good enough block, but the angles, the way Andre James makes sure to get to the outside of number 41, right? To the right side of number 41 here. Um, it, it's good, right? Obviously, he needs to, to learn to get him down here, right? Because that would have been huge. But obviously, Zach Cunningham is a really, really good linebacker. Uh, but it's good enough block where Josh Jacob picks up eight to nine yards, right? And honestly, if this safety was not there, if the safety got blocked a little bit better, that could have possibly been a touchdown. I don't think Zach Cunningham, who was under James' responsibility, would have made the tackle there. Uh, I think number 20, I think that's Justin Reed, uh, ends up making the play. But um, overall, it's, it's not a bad block by Arnold James. And I love the fact he takes the proper angle uh, to basically cut off number 41. With that, let's get into the next play. You know, when, when I talk about Andre James, these are the plays um, that, in my opinion, show me that he's going to be a very good center in the NFL. Uh, these are the exact plays. And again, I talked to Colton Miller about this, and he believes that Andre James is the Raiders' future center. Um, but look at how he pushes number 92 to the outside, and then look at how he cuts off number 51, right? He gets 92 out of the way, then he cuts off number 55. And Josh Jacobs has a huge lane because number 55 gets uh, cut off there, right? A gain of 12 yards, uh, Richie Incognito does get called for the hold here. Um, you see Richie here. I, I don't know if he holds. We'll see. Um, yeah, it does look like he does kind of hold number 98 there. Um, but as far as Andre James, he does a fantastic job. Uh, 92 gets pushed out of the way, and then he just hooks number 55 um you know I, i've talked about colton miller being a special player and i'll continue saying it over and over again obviously i think at this point most people would agree with me but these are the types of blocks look at what he does to number 41 here um, not only does he get all there to the inside but watch where he ends up on number 41 he's literally on the inside of number 41 how does that happen number 41 is literally uh by the time the ball gets snapped he's pretty much in in the a gap here between the center and the guard and colton miller from way out here some able some way able to still end up on the inside um of zach cunningham there again these are the types of uh blocks that i saw from colton miller that made me feel like he's a special player um obviously you know i have been saying that since his rookie year keeping in mind this was colton miller's second year most people still thought he wasn't that good of an offense tackle but these are the things that i saw either way 
Andre James' first year, first ever game, he's making similar plays, right? He's understanding angles, uh, how, how to block, how to take the proper steps, right? All the little details that you want to see in your future center, uh, he's understanding those concepts. So uh, these are the types of things that, that I personally dig. Uh, with that, let's just jump forward and, and let's just get into the next play. And um, by the next play, what I actually mean is let's get into the next game. Now, here's the thing. The Raiders are going to just run right off the left tackle. Um, I wanna, I, I'm showing you guys this play because this is going to show you guys something. Uh, understand the Detroit Lions are showing a 3-4 three, uh, three, uh, man front, and they have this eighth extra guy in the box, um, which means that basically all, all the offensive linemen and tight end are basically going to block the guy to their left or the guy in front of them and try to hook them right uh, you see the tight end on 42 colton miller on this uh defense band slash defensive tackle uh richie on number 51 andre on the nose tackle left uh, right guard gabe jackson on 40 tackle trent brown on this guy uh, basically these two guys one picks up this guy the other picks up 32 um and this is going to be a gain of seven yards, right? It's a su successful play. But I'm showing you guys this play because typically in the NFL, uh, these type of fronts are not not typical, right? Where it's like you line up just in a base formation. Usually the defense will shift their guys a little bit. Um, but this, keeping in mind, this is, you know, once Andre James had his first ever game against uh, the Houston Texans, he's now in his second ever game, right? He had a full week to kind of practice, to kind of get better. But at the same time, the Lions had a full week to also study the fact that Ronnie Hudson, maybe the best offensive player, is no longer in the game, right? So the Lions are going to try different things to uh, try to beat up on Andre James, right? Understanding he's a rookie, a converted tackle to go, uh, to center. Uh, but still, it's a good block by him to uh, take that left step here, right? Uh, or to the right of the screen. If you watch Andre James' left foot, his first step is going to be this way right which is to our right which is Andre James's left and then Andre James is going to just hook uh this defensive tackle here uh, or nose tackle I should say number 98 that's a good job obviously the play was going to the outside anyways great job by Colton Miller a seven yard gain man it's, it's it's really that simple um when it comes to blocking on the offensive lineman angles man angles 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 let's jump into the next one angles right uh same situation here they're playing a three four they're lining up in a base right they're not really shifting the defense over uh, watch andre james and, and i think it's with richie he's gonna make this block they're gonna double team here and then andre james is gonna uh, get off of his guy and then pick up number 51 this is a gain of 17 yards and this is because of the fact that andre james is able to cut off number 51 51 is the backside guy 51 has the easiest um ability to get off the block right 51 has to get there and, and and basically make the play on josh jacobs here um the reason why i'm saying that is for the following reasons the second so so let me, let me back up here when it comes to a three four right these two guys right here the two little middle linebackers are lined up over the guards that's who they're reading right it's very simple the second that both guards uh, take the step here. Let me try to get it going right there. The second these two guards take this right step, turning their right foot, and that's the offense lineman's right foot to their right side, these guys know the play is now going to go this way, right? Unless there's some sort of counter that comes back. Uh, that's the way the blocks are looking to go. And basically, Andre James is at a, at a disadvantage, or I should say Richie Incognito is at a disadvantage, right? That's why the Raiders block it this specific way, right? That's why they're going to double team the nose here, and that's why they expect Andre James to come around and cut off number 51. Because if Richie Incognito tried taking a, any sort of step towards 51, 51 would see what's happening, and he would be able to get around this and shut this play down. Uh, but again, 51 has the easiest ability to go and make this play, right? He sees Richie going to to, uh, to the left of the screen, and he the 51 is going to also go towards the left of the screen. Um, and again, Andre gets off of his block. Great job keeping his head up and being able to stop number 51. Now, um, Gabe Jackson obviously barely gets, you know, number, he barely stops number 40. Uh, honestly, this play is made and and works because of foster moreau hooking number 42 here um overall man and then of course josh jacobs doing josh jacobs things right there just just getting to the outside overall from the first game to this game i already see improvements with andre james of how he's taking his angles right, just in that last play i was talking about how number 51 who was basically the backside guard 
um, how he wasn't able to get to um, who he needed to, to to where he needed to get to, and, and I gave a lot of praise to Andre James for cutting him off. Um, in this play, I want to show you guys. So n number fifty two is basically that same guy. Now the lines have switched up their fronts right now, and they're playing more of like a uh, a four a base with the four four at least they're showing four defensive linemen it's still a three four base right uh, it's just shifted and, and they they have their nickel package in but the point of me showing you guys this and and i hate to just keep talking over and over and over again is i want you guys to watch gabe right gabe's job, responsibility is to cut off number 52 in a similar way that on the last play it was richie and andre james duty to cut off the linebacker that was standing over here i think it was number 51 um Watch Gabe, and then uh, we'll get into the play. Uh, he's not going to be able to, to get to number 52. Between him and Trent, they double, and Gabe needs to get to number 52. Gabe's not able to get there, right? You guys see that? 52 goes unblocked. 52 is right here. That's Gabe's responsibility. Guess who makes the play on this play? Number 52. The backside linebacker is always there to make the play. I think this was a gain of two or three yards. Um, but just to back it up, I want to go back to Andre James. Watch Andre. He does a great job. Again, angles, 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 angles. Angles are the most important part of playing football. And it's not the greatest block, right? Uh, but he snaps the ball. He goes to his right, right? Let me just back up here. As soon as the ball is snapped, he takes his angle to the right of the screen. And number 40 is going to try shooting that gap. 40 knows at this point that he's lost this block. Right, he's not stupid. He already knows uh, if he tries to stop himself, and because uh, he's already going forward, right? For, number forty is going forward. If number forty now tries to stop himself and go towards his right to basically beat Andre James, you won't make it. You're gonna get blown up, right? So he knows that he's already going downhill. The only thing he can try doing is shooting this gap and possibly making up ground that way. Uh, as you're gonna see, Andre James does a good enough job just to stop him and slow him down. Now. This is something that Andre has to improve on, right? So we're not going to make excuses here. You have to stick on your guy a little bit longer, right? But again, we'll give him a pass because, you know, this is the ninth game of him in the NFL, right? And not nine games that he started. This is his second ever game that he's ever played, his first career start. Um, but he's only been playing center for nine weeks plus uh, whatever the preseason and, and training camp of when he started playing center. But the angle's nice. He does the everything he needs to do. Uh, again, snapping the ball and, and getting upfield, it's hard. Um, but he does a good job cutting off number 40. And number 40 has, there's no way he would have ever made this play. Had Gabe made his block, number 52 would not be there. And Josh Jacobs would have, you know, picked up at least 10 yards, right? Because the next closest guy uh, was way back down here. You guys see his head. He's coming on the screen down here. So again, um, Honor James, great job. Let's move forward and let's get into the next one. So as you guys know, uh, in 2019, the coach at that time of and the coach that ran this defense was Matt Patricia. So he'll show a three-four. He'll show a four-man front. Uh, he'll put all these safeties and corners in, and he'll try confusing whoever it is out here. And they know Andre James is a rookie, you know, first ever start. They're gonna send random people, and it's a great job that Andre James sees number 42, right? I mean, he sees number 42 moving the way he's moving, and Andre does a great job here just picking up number 42. Um, let me just forward it a little bit. It's a good job. It's a good block. He doesn't get beat. You expect him to make these plays. You know, if he's not able to make these plays against starting caliber players, then there's no way he could have been our starter. But again, Colton likes him. I like him. The Raiders are comfortable moving on from, from uh, uh, Rodney Hudson. Um, good block. Let's get into the next one. All right, you guys, if there's one thing I remember from this Lions game uh, is that we did have a couple of bad snaps. And here's the first one. Um, third and six, uh, it, it kind of rolls back to Derek. You know, as a former center, or I should say backup center, um, that was not my main position. I was a guard. You know when there's a bad snap, right? The, the thing that happens is uh, basically you let go of the ball too early, right? You have to get your arm up before you throw this back, right? And you're 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 spinning it as you're throwing it backwards. The thing is, he lets go of this ball too early, and you guys can probably barely see it with the type of quality that existed at this time for the Raiders. Um, but he basically lets go of the ball too early, and you guys see the ball kind of bounces back to Derek Carr. Now, obviously, Derek Carr still gets the completion off. He's able to pick it up. Uh, Andre obviously does a good enough job blocking. Uh, but again, 
you know, I'll, I'll let all of these fumbles pass. They don't matter. It's a player that's learning a brand new position. Uh, but it is important for you guys to understand that um, he did have a couple of fumbles. And these are issues that with practice reps, practice snaps, this stuff gets cleaned up. And I have no doubt in my mind this won't happen going forward. So let's move forward and let's get into the next one. Here's another learning experience for Andre. Um, I, I believe this is a play action. I, I actually didn't watch the play the the quarterback of it, but watch Andre and look how far out he gets. He's going to end up getting close to like four to five yards out out there. Um, this is a penalty, and I'm surprised the penalty was not called. But um, I think it is a play action. We'll be able to tell right now. Um, let me go ahead and just forward this. Yeah, so it is a play action, and I guess he is trying to make it seem like it's a play action. He's trying to get these linebackers to kind of commit. Um, but yeah, he's way too far upfield. Like, that's a penalty right there, right? The line of scrimmage is one, two, at least three, three and a half yards behind him. Uh, I believe in college you can get three yards upfield. I think in the NFL it's one yard, but it could be three yards as well. I don't think it's three yards. I, I do think it's one yard in the NFL. Uh, typically, that's an illegal lineman downfield. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it worked, right? Uh, look at these linebackers. They're going to commit because they see Andre James coming, especially this one here. And Darren Waller gets wide open, right? Like that right there is the reason why Darren Waller <laughs> ends up wide open. And Derek hits Waller. Uh, and yeah, basically Waller picks up 31 yards on this specific play. Uh, but that needs to be corrected. All right, I just wanted to point it out. Let's get into the next one. All right, guys. So I want to uh, show you guys this play now. Um, in this play, he's going to actually miss the block on this guy and this guy's gonna make the play i think that's damon here uh damon harrison who is a player that i love i don't know if he still plays in the nfl but uh he was a great player at one point um but andre james misses this block and, and i want to discuss this play specifically because you know a lot of people talked shit about andre james on Twitter yesterday, right? A lot of people, people who, you know, even people who claim like, yeah, we watch film and blah, blah, blah. But then they put this fake ass narrative out, right? Like, uh, you know, I'll be the first to tell you guys, you can take one play and create a fake narrative if you want to. Um, but here's what that narrative doesn't tell you, right? In the a game, the game against the Texans, the Texans played a 3-4 defense, right, with three down linemen, which means a nose tackle was lined up on Andre James, I'd say 95% of the time. Against the Lions, they played 3-4 or and 4-3, right? The reason why I'm telling you that is when you're playing a 3-4 defense, a guy's going to line up on Andre every single play, which means Andre James is getting used to how to block that one guy that he's lined up across. In a game time situation, when you play a 4-3 on the other hand, he has to learn the angles and he has to get used to how to block this guy if the play is being run to the left of the screen. He has to get used to what angle to take to block number 51 depending on where the thing, where the ball is being run. He has to understand and learn and practice how to get to maybe number 25 if needed or number 27 if needed. That comes with reputa repetitions and you got to understand this is uh, his very first time playing a live 4-3 defensive front, right? Again, the line switched it up. And in this case, he doesn't know how to uh, make this 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 block here on, on this uh, defensive tackle. And the guy beats him. But these are things that you get better at, right? This is why it takes reps to get better. And again, I've said this multiple times already. I'll say it again. Andre James was learning a new position, right? If you put Andre James at left tackle, He'll make that block. He'll know exactly what angle to take. He'll know what step to take. But when you have to snap the ball and then try to make that block, it's hard, right? It is hard. Uh, but I saw plays like this. I think this was one of the specific plays where people pointed out the fact that he lost this block. Uh, and then they basically were trying to push the narrative that he sucks and he's not the replacement and he's not this. And I'm not saying he is the guy, but I'm telling you that I've asked an NFL player about him and that NFL player thinks that he could replace Rodney Hudson in the future and it looks like the future is here, right? But let's move forward and let's get into the next one. All right, you guys, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, the fumbles were a huge part of this game. And here's another one. Um, this one's a little bit different than the first one. It's similar, very, very similar. Uh, Andre James is going to, again, fumble this, the snap. You guys are going to see the ball rolls to the left. Uh, this one's a little bit harder for Derek to, to get uh, to 
basically pick it up. Uh, but here's basically what happens. Uh, because Andre James is taking this right step, if you watch his foot, he's it's going to go to the right. Uh, keep an eye on it in just a second. You're going to see that right foot reach to the right. Um, because of that, the ball ends up to the left. So what's, what basically happens is... Um, he shifts his body towards the right and the ball comes out this way, right? And again, it's the same situation as the first one. Uh, basically, Andre James is letting the ball go a little bit too early. Um, and because of that, the ball is sliding. So it happens. Again, repetition is going to be key for Andre. And I'm sure this is already fixed. Um, the block was, was good enough. Um, but again, it is what it is. It happens. I think this will not happen going forward. With that being said, let's just jump into the next play. Alright guys, here's another running play. Uh, Andre does a great job here. Let me just forward past this real quick. Uh, Andre's going to do a great job basically getting this guy down. Again, 4-3 versus 3-4, two separate fronts. Uh, and at this point, it's a 4-3. Um, it's a good job getting this guy on the ground, right? If uh, if the backside block was, was better, I'm not sure if that's David Sharp. I think it is. Um, if this block was better on this guy between Gabe and Sharp, and I think this is just Sharp's fault. I mean, Sharp just runs right by him, which is typically fine, right? If he gets to the inside, that's typically perfectly fine to do. Obviously, Josh is going to try cutting this up, uh, primarily because I believe it was Colton Miller whose guy ends up to the inside, or maybe it was this guy here who ends up to the inside. Um, and because of that, Josh is going to cut it, right? So you see this guy step up. Uh, honestly, he should have just kept running with this man. If uh, if Josh hits that outside there, this is a uh, this is a big gain. Instead of a three yard gain, uh, this is a really really big gain. Now it would require patience, right, for that hole to open up. But like you know, Richie does a great job here, sticking with his guy, not letting his guy uh, uh, get any ground. Andre puts his guy to the ground. Gabe gets up to this guy. Quan Miller is gonna hook his guy, right? Like Josh cuts this too early. He should have had that trust in Colton. Coin hooks his guy. Look, you see that hole developing right there. That's a. I mean, that could be a touchdown for, for all I know, right? But uh, Colton again does a good enough job, and uh, yeah, J Josh obviously cuts it up too early. Um, but from Andre James' perspective, he does a good job getting this guy down. Uh, cut blocking is it's it's definitely not the same. You know, it's a whole different. Um, it's a whole another part to your game, right? It's it's cut blocking. It's not the normal angle blocks and stuff like that. Uh, some people cut block well, others don't. That was a pretty good one right there. And we'll see if we can come across another one in just a second here. You know, I always respect when uh, a center um, or any offensive lineman is aggressive and wants to put people down. And, and I love that right there, man. You you let him know too, man. You, lo you let him know. You stand over him and you tell him, yeah, I just put your ass down. So what? What you going to do, right? I love that right there. <laughs> Let's get into the next one. All right, here's an improvement. Um... You know, just some criticism for Andre to improve on. Uh, he does a good job initially getting to his left, helping with the double. Let me just speed this up here. Um, he does a good job here, but he needs to switch off this guy a little bit faster, right? That's too slow of a switch. Now, obviously, Gabe was there, um, but the only reason Gabe was there was because of the fact that both of these guys basically just just uh, go outwards, right? Uh, because of that, Gabe is free, and, and obviously, Sharp here is free, but... Um, if even this one guy came and he, he got double teamed by these two guys, or let's just say he came directly at Gabe, um, this could be a sack right here, right? Like this block by Andre getting off his block is too slow, right? Gabe helps him out there, but that could be a, a, a possible sack. Now, um, he would already been in, been sacked, right? Um, and yeah, this is a gain of 15, 16 yards. So, um, you know, that's just some criticism that he can continue to improve his game on. Let's jump forward. You know, sometimes I watch our offensive lineman block, uh, the the way it's kind of designed, and I think to myself, man, that that's beautiful. That's that's just impressive. Uh, look at this play here, just just generally from the line. I mean, just look at that hole developing, man. Um, and obviously, you know, this video here took me like a two hour period of to just go through all the film to record. Um, and in that two our uh, period the Raiders actually brought back big 64 right here and you look at this push right here man watch him drive this guy look at where he's currently at right now uh, the camera shifts a little bit uh, but look at where this guy ends up like he was like over here somewhere and 
you know, Josh Jacobs is going to love that uh, from him. But uh, just taking a step back, even Andre. Andre does a good job to get to the left side of this guy. Look at his helmet, right? Earlier on, I said his helmet needs to be on the correct side. At that point, it was. And because his helmet was on the correct side, you just got to understand that helmet is like, you know, eight to nine inches in length. When you get that helmet on one side or the other, it's not that easy for a guy to, to get off of that, right? When you get that helmet on the correct side, it's hard. Like this guy, there's no way he can come back to the other way. So he tries going to the inside. Josh reads it. This is a gain of 16 yards right here, right? This is a perfect example of... Um, you know, getting your, your proper angle, taking the correct steps and all that good stuff. So, uh, good block by Andre. We pick up 60, 16 yards. Uh, let's move forward, man. Now, people uh, showed this play as well, uh, and they used it to talk shit about Andre James. Uh, you're you're going to see these two linebackers do something unique, right? And this is done to uh, basically blow plays up, right? Uh, let me just break it down really quick for you guys notice how there's really no one over the center or right guard right that's a humongous ass gap to leave open basically what these guys are going to do is this guy is going to slant that way right that's pointing up towards the left guard and left tackle and this guy's going to come around this way he's going to basically loop around him uh, the point of doing that is right now andre james feels like hey i have this guy over me this is the one guy i'm going to block this linebacker but when the linebacker starts going this way, basically, Andre James is going to go with that linebacker, right? Because that's his responsibility. Um, however, this guy is the responsibility of either left guard or left tackle. And basically, he's going to go unblocked because he's going to loop around. And uh, let me just speed it up to show you guys. Um, so you see here, you see uh, Richie and Andre James trying to get up to that next level. Let me just back it up. Um, you see the left guard and, and center both trying to get up to that linebacker. And look at them looping, right? One guy is basically going to take both center and guard. And we'll just go to the back side here. Um, and because of that loop that these two linebackers do, Andre James is basically not going to be able to block. Uh, and, and let me just pause it as well. Basically, when that loop happens with these two linebackers, basically what needs to happen is Andre James needs to see this linebacker come around. Uh, Richie needs to adjust himself to pick this linebacker up. And I think Richie does make that adjustment, right? At this point, Andre needs to keep his head up and he needs to see that this linebacker is coming around. Now, this is not typical. Teams do not do these type of things, but you could do these when there's an inexperienced lineman, an inexperienced player, and Richie sees it too late, right? He tries getting his hand on number 40. He sees it too late. Richie does a good job picking up his guy. Again, Andre sees it too late. Um, and number 40 is going to blow the play up. There's nowhere for, where for Josh to go. Number 40 is right there. Um, and they do a good job just boxing this in. Um, it is still a gain of, I think, about two to three yards. But still, could have been a bigger gain. Um, just some criticism that I have for Andre with that. Let's move forward. All right, guys. Here's some more criticism for Andre. Um, this is actually, I think, the same. Uh, at least it looks like it. Like the formation and, and everything like that. This looks like literally the same exact thing the Raiders did the first time. Uh, this time the play doesn't work. Uh, the reason why is Andre James and um, uh, Gabe Jackson here basically are going to double team this guy. And then Andre James needs to get up to number 51. Remember, we talked about this play. Again, the same exact play as I think literally the first game, the first play of this game. Um, but basically, and we'll start the play here. Um, basically, what's going to happen is Andre James is going to fall right so not only does he not block number 98 number 98 is going to not going to make the play anyways but number 51 ends up going unblocked and 51 ends up making the play i guess the nose tackle there did have an impact on that play as well um but again learning experience right you can't always lean you can't always just think every nose is going to do the same thing uh the nose swims right over a leaning andre james learning experience first nfl start um, it's okay. We can live with it. It's still a gain of three to four yards. Uh, with that, let's move forward. Let's get into the next one. All right, guys, I want to show you this play. If you watch Andre, uh, look at the fight that Andre and this nose tackle are going through at this moment. Like they are fighting to get to the right side here. Like Andre is giving it 150% as, as is that nose and they're going at it and they're both trying to basically win this gap right here. Right, the nose wants to win it, and Andre wants to win it, and they're fighting it out right here. 
Um, and I like that, right? That's toughness. Um, you know, one, one of the things that when I watched Andre James's film from UCLA is he plays tough. He plays physical. Um, and he isn't the biggest guy, right? Like, he, I mean, he's like 6'4". I think he was like 290 when he, uh, when he came out of college. Uh, but he's probably up to about 320 now. Um, he, he's a good size to play, right? Obviously, he can probably still get bigger. And he will, right? He's still a young player. But... Um, you can't teach certain things, uh, and I love that fight right there. Uh, let's move forward and let's get into the next play. You know, earlier I said that the Lions switched their fronts up, 3-4, three, 4-3. Four, four, three. Here's a 4-3, a right? They literally just switched their front up. Uh, earlier I also said that he needs to get used to taking the angles to this defensive tackle. Remember there was that play where he went, he, he stepped this way, and he basically lost the block. Uh, well, here's another thing he's going to have to learn, and he's going to learn it. Um, sometimes when you go towards this guy and this guy ends up maybe going to his right, right, which is this way, um, just like this guy does, he engages with Richie. If he slants to the inside, Andre picks him up, uh, but he d doesn't, right? And so basically what Andre James has to do is he has to recognize this and get to number 52, right? And he recognizes it just a little slow, right? He gets his hand out there. Uh, he switches his head to 52, and basically the way he's moving um, he he kind of just misses, right? And it's okay. It's his first ever career start. He's seeing multiple fronts, right? This is something he has not seen from the center position. This is something that uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth year, you get better and better and better and better. And you'll be able to recognize these things very quickly and very efficiently. Um, again, just a learning experience. I just want to throw it out because I do want to try to be as unfair and biased as I possibly can. Again, I'm not showing you guys every play, right? Especially not pass plays because for the most prime, for the most part, the Raiders is double teamed with either Gabe or Richie, and they just slid towards um, towards Andre there. But uh, anyways, let's let's move forward and let's get into the next play. All right, guys, I want to show you this play as well. Uh, Andre James is a uh, really nice job, basically just pass blocking number 98 here. Uh, the thing I want to show you is Andre is going to lock up with number 98. And 98 tries a couple of different moves, and they don't work. Andre basically just shuts it down. Uh, here's the thing. When it comes to pass protection, Andre James was the offensive tackle. So he knows how to pass block. Right? There's no doubt in my mind that he will shut people down when it comes to pass blocking. Uh, here's the thing, right? As soon as he gets the ball off, if you guys watch Andre, Andre gets his left hand on the offensive tackle. Obviously, his right hand, he's using to snap the ball. Uh, the uh, the or the defensive tackles, I should say, is going to take a swipe at Andre. And you'll see him right there with his left hand throw a punch towards Andre and try to get around Andre. I think what he's trying to do is uh, swipe with his left, and then he's trying to swim with his right, right? Uh, and Andre has that shut down, right? Now, at this point, Andre James has him, and look at him swipe right there again at Andre James's arms. Doesn't work. Yeah, at this point, you kind of just give up, right? Uh, there's nothing else you can do, but Andre does a good job, man. He gets his hands and his arms um, on that defensive lineman, again, he was a tackle in college. He knows how to pass block. It's probably his biggest strength. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's his biggest strength because I, I think his his awareness and his IQ is his biggest strength. Uh, he understands angles. Um, has he made every block? No. Right. First ever career start. Second ever uh, game where he actually had an extended playing time. But right there, that shows you the dude was a, a tackle in college, right? He's going to be able to pass block. Um, let's go forward and, and move into the next one. All right, you guys, talking about angles, uh, watch Andre James. I'm not even going to say it. I want you guys to watch it, and then I want you guys to think about it. Like, do you guys think he made the proper block? Do you guys think he didn't? Uh, do you guys think he's trash for this block? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys are still watching, uh, I really appreciate it, man. Let me know that you guys are still watching, and specifically let me know if you think he made the proper block here, I think this is number 99, uh, let me know. Say, yeah, or 98, I, I don't know. Just let me know if you guys think he made the proper block there. Um, did he hold on it that long? No. Um, but in my opinion, I think this is a great block, and this is why. Uh, he takes the proper step. He takes the proper angle this way, and boom. He, he At this point... Right, based based off of the gap right there between this guy, between the defensive tackle's helmet and between Andre James's helmet, that gap should not exist. Right, you look here at uh, I don't know if that's Colton Miller. Um, let me just back up to confirm who that is. I think it 
is Colton Miller. Yeah, so Colton Miller is going up against Trey Flowers. Trey Flowers is a great defensive end. Um, Colton Miller isn't struggling to get his helmet to the outside of him, right? That's how it should be between a good tackle and a good defensive end. This right here, this is the I think this is probably the first time I've even noticed this guy. I think it's number 99. Um, you can tell this guy's not that experienced or he, he's not that good at the moment, right? Um, I wonder if James just gets off quicker, more aggressively, and he just gets around him and he hooks him, right? This is a Hook. This is a this is a win right. This might be the best block I've, I've seen. Now, obviously, he doesn't stick with it. Um, he he kind of falls, but you got to keep in mind. I think someone does step on him um, here. Let's see. I, I think he right there. He does get hit by uh, Richie Incognito, and then he does fall. Not that that guy makes the play, anyways. Um, but yeah, that that's a great block right there. Anyways, let's move forward. Sometimes I get way too carried over. <laughs> and I, I I get into these blocks too much, but let's move forward. All right, guys, here's another block. Uh, again, it's a four three front. Um, you're gonna see basically Andre James make the block here. Uh, this is the same block he did not make earlier. Again, um, he did this block about three and three times already, and maybe this is fourth time. And this time he makes the block right again. Um, here he is. He makes the perfect block. We pick up I think about nine yards on this play, but um, you know, he lost earlier. I think on the first time I saw him try making this block, he lost. But after that one time, he's made the block pretty much every other time that he's actually had to block this defensive tackle. Um, either way, you know, it, it takes time. It, it takes time, no matter who the player is, to uh, for them to continue making certain blocks over and over and over again. Um, you know, you, when you learn a new position, when I first started, you know, when I first became the backup center, um, it took time. It, it, you know, I fumbled the ball a lot. I, I you know, I, had, I practiced like 100 times every single day just snapping the ball. It takes time. Going from guard to center, it takes time. Going from tackle to center, uh, it takes time, right? Just learning all the little things you have to learn. Um, but let's move forward. Let's get into the next one. With the news that Richie Incognito is going to be back, and this is probably going to be a double team that we're going to see a lot, Andre and Richie. Uh, this is what we're going to be expecting this year. We're going to be expecting dominance. Uh, blocks where you're moving guys like this right here. That's freaking beautiful right there. Um, that's what I expect right there. <laughs> but let's move forward, man. Let's get into the next play. All right, guys. The final play that we're going to talk about is the final play of the game. There's three seconds left, and the Raiders are going to throw this ball away. But basically, I just want to talk about Andre James. Um... It's a, you know, he's a young player, man. He, he's in his second, he just finished his second year, I should say. Um, but the Raiders have that confidence in him, right? Like, they have the confidence that, hey, we can trade away Rodney Hudson. Um, and basically, Andre James can step in and, and he can fill that role. And I'm pumped up, man. I'm, I'm ready to see what we can do going forward. You know, I've, I've said this before. We need to get cheaper with the offense line. Uh, Trent Brown. Gabe Jackson, both guys are gone, which means we should be able to get cheaper now, right? We have the cheaper center in Andre James, of course, assuming he starts, right? Uh, the only people that have seen him in practice is basically all the players. Um, and one of all the players has told me that he thinks Andre James can take over. Uh, that's Colton Miller. He told me during our interview uh, that he believes that Andre James can take over and be the long-term starter. Um, of course, John Gruden has already gotten rid of Rodney Hudson without a center, which tells me that at least John Gruden believes the, the same thing that I believe as well. So um, either way, man, I think Andre James, you know, he's not he's not going to be Rodney Hudson. If you guys think Andre James isn't going to allow any sacks for the next five years, um, get that out of your heads because you're, you're going to be wrong. He's going to allow sacks. He's going to lose. Uh, the hope is that uh, from paying your, your center $15 million to paying him a million dollars, the hope is that uh, he's not 15 times worse than Rodney Hudson, right? Because Rodney Hudson made 15 times as much money as Andre James is making. The hope is Andre James can hold it down just enough for him to continue improving, right? Tackle to center, it's a hard conversion. It, it can be done. It's been done in the past. Um, you know, maybe, and then don't quote me on this. I think Jared Valdir might have been a, or might have played center as well. I, I don't remember, but I feel like he might have. I know he was a, he was a tackle for us. Um, 
I almost feel like he played center. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe I can't remember. That's this long time ago. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If this video was too long and too boring and if literally no one is listening to this video at this point, I guess it doesn't matter anyways. But if you are listening, I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, you are the reason why I made this video. You are the reason why I spent, I don't know what the total time of this video is going to be, like 40 minutes. You are the reason why I made this video. You know, um, just like you, I love the Raiders, man. I'm a diehard Raider fan, and I will always, uh, you know, I will always put this team first um, over any of my other sports teams, and I will always love to break film down like this. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking there. I'm going to end the video here. Um, smash that subscribe button, that like button. Let me know what you guys think about Andre James, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic day.